Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee A Level of Mathematics. We continue the differentiation, chapter 9, differentiation. For today, we go to section 9.5, the quotient rule. If you need to be able to differentiate the quotient of two functions, and if y is equal to u over v, where u and v are functions of x, the differentiation dy by dx is equal to v du by dx minus u dv by dx, or divided by v squared. The quotient rule in function notation is if fx is equal to gx over hx, then f dash x is equal to hx g dash x minus gx h that's x divided by h x to the square. And you have to watch out that this is the minus size between v du by dx is minus u dv by dx. So you cannot reverse the order. Let's see an example. Given that y equal to x over 2x plus 5, find the dy by dx. And we let the numerator to be u and the denominator to be v is equal to 2x plus 5. du by dx is equal to 1 and dv by dx is equal to 2. We substitute into this quotient rule dy by dx is equal to v du by dx minus u dv by dx divided by v squared. So we get dy by dx is equal to v 2x plus 5 multiplied by du by dx is 1 and minus x multiplied by 2 over 2x plus 5 to the square and the answer is 5 over 2x plus 5 to the square. Example 2, if a curve C with equation y equal to psi x over 2 to the 2x, x is between 0 and pi. As a stationary point, find the coordinates of p given your answer to three significant figures. So we let u equal to psi x and v equal to d to the 2x. du by dx is equal to cosine x and dv by dx equal to 2e to the 2x. Substitute into the quotient rule here and we got the answer e to the power minus 2x multiplied by cosine x minus 2 psi x. If it has a stationary point as p, find the coordinates of p given your answer to three significant figures. Stationary points, p means the dy by dx as this point is zero. So we got e to the power minus 2x multiplied by cosine x minus 2 psi x is equal to zero. And e to the power minus 2x equal to zero has no solution. So the only Solution is that cosine x minus 2 psi x equal to 0, and we got tangent x equal to half, x equal to 0. 0.464 to 3 significant figure. So we put this point x equal to 0. 0.464 into the function x, y equal to psi x over e to the power 2x, we got y is equal to Point one seven seven. So the point P have the coordinates of x equal to point four six four, y equal to point one seven seven. After T two example, we go to the exercise number three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I have also give you the answer for each question, so you can stop the video to check the answer if you like to. So get ready, and we are going for the exercise. Question 3a, try to differentiate the quotient 5x over x plus 1. So we let u equal to 5x and v equal to x plus 1. du by dx is equal to 5, and dv by dx is equal to one and v square is equal to x plus one 
to the square. So by the cosine rule of differentiation, we have dy by dx equal to v du by dx minus u dv by dx over v square. And this is equal to x plus 1 multiplied by 5 minus 5x multiplied by 1 over x plus 1 to the square. And we have 5x plus 5 minus 5x over x plus 1 square. And this is equal to, we cancel these two out, equal to 5 over x plus 1 to the square. And in question B, 2x over 3x minus 2, u equal to 2x, v equal to 3x minus 2, du by dx is equal to 2, and dv by dx is equal to 3, and v square is equal to 3x minus 2 to the square. So we have dy by dx is equal to 3x minus 2 multiplied by 2 minus 2x multiplied by 3 over 3x minus 2 to the square is equal to 6x minus 4 minus 6x over 3x minus 2 to the square. So it's equal to minus 4 over 3x minus 2 to the square. And in part C, we have u equal to x plus 3, v equal to 2x plus 1, du by dx is equal to 1, and dv by dx is equal to 2. v square is equal to 2x plus 1 to the square. We have dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 1 multiplied by 1 minus x plus 3 multiplied by 2 over 2x plus 1 to the square. So it's equal to 2x plus 1 minus 2x minus 6 over 2x plus 1 to the square is equal to minus 5 over 2x plus 1 to the square. And question D, we have 3x squared over 2x minus 1 to the power 2. So u is equal to 3x squared and v is equal to 2x minus 1 power 2. du by dx is equal to 6x and dv by dx is equal to 2, 2x minus 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4, 2x minus 1. So we have dy by dx is equal to 2x minus 1 to the square multiplied by 6x minus 3x square multiplied by 4 and 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1 to the power 4. And so it's equal to 12x square minus 6x minus 12x square over 2x minus 1 to the 4. So it's equal to minus 6x over 2x minus 1 to the power 4. And the final one, 3 years, 6x over 5x plus 3 to the power half. So u equal to 6x, du by dx is equal to 6 and v equal to 5x plus 3 to the half. dv by dx is equal to 5 over 2, 5x plus 3 to the minus half. So we have dy by dx equal to 5x plus 3 to the half, 
multiplied by 6 minus 6x six multiplied by 5 over 2 5x plus 3 to the minus half and it's over 5x plus 3 so we have 5x plus 3 multiplied by 6 minus 6x six 5 over 2 5x minus 3 to the 0 over 5x plus 3 5x plus 3 to the half and then we have 30x plus 18 minus 15x over 5x plus 3 to the 3 over 2 and equal to 15x plus 18 over 5x plus 3 to the power of 3 over 2. Question 4a. Differentiate e to the power 4x over cosine x. So u equal to e to the 4x and du by dx is equal to 4e to the power 4x. And v is equal to cosine x. So dv by dx is equal to minus psi x. v square is equal to cosine square x. So dy by dx, according to the cosine rule, we have cosine x multiplied by 4e to the 4x minus e 4x multiplied by minus psi x over cosine square x. And this is equal to 4 to the e 4x cosine x minus e to the 4x psi x over cosine square x. So it is equal to e to the 4x multiplied by 4 cosine x per psi x over cosine square x. And 4b, let u equal to log x du by dx is equal to 1 over x. And v equal to x plus 1 dv by dx is equal to 1. v square is equal to x plus 1 to the square. So dy by dx, according to the cosine rule, we have x plus 1 multiplied by 1 over x minus log x over x plus 1 to the 2. And this is equal to x plus 1 minus x log x and over x, x plus 1 to the square. We can separate these two out. We have 1 over x, x plus 1 minus log x, x plus 1 to the square. Question 4c. And this is a more difficult question. We let u equal to e minus 2x plus e 2x. du by dx is equal to minus 2e minus 2x plus 2e 2x. And v equal to log x dv by dx equal to 1 over x. V square is equal to log x to the square. So dy by dx is equal to log x multiplied by minus 2e minus 2x plus 2e to the 2x minus e minus 2x plus e to the 2x multiplied by 1 over x and all over log x to the square. We multiply by x, so we have x log x minus 2e minus 2x plus 2e 2x minus e minus 2x 
plus d 2x over log x to the square. This is x here. And we expand this out. We got d to the minus 2x multiplied by minus 2x log x plus 2x d to the 4x log x minus 1 minus d to the 4x over x log x to the square. And this is equal to d minus 2x multiplied all over by minus 2x plus 2x d to the power 4x. We take the common factors of log x out. We get log x minus d to the 4x minus 1 is all multiplied by e to the minus 2x over x log x to the square. Question 4d, we let u equal to e x plus 3 to the power 3 and v equal to cosine x du by dx is equal to 3 e x plus 3 to the 2 multiply by dx. dv by dx is equal to minus psi x. And v square is equal to cosi square x. So dy by dx by the cosine rule, we have cosi x multiplied by 3 multiplied by e x plus 3 to the square and dx minus e x plus 3 to the square minus psi x. So this 2 minus is makes these two per size. So we go back here over cosine square x. And this is equal to, we take out the e x plus 3 to the power square from this two part we have to multiply by 3e e to the x, 3e e to the x, cos x, cos x, plus e x plus 3, e x plus 3, this one should be power 3, and psi x over cos square x. Question 4e, psi square x over log x, u equal to psi square x du by dx is equal to 2 psi x cos x and v equal to log x dv by dx is equal to 1 over x and v square is equal to log x to the power of 2. So dy by dx According to the cosine rule, we have log x 2 psi x cos x minus psi square x 1 over x over log x to the square. And we multiply by x. So we have 2x log x psi x cos x minus psi square x over x log x square. And we separate it out. We got 2 psi x cos x over log x. And the other part is minus psi square x over x log x to the square. Question number five, find the equation of the tangent to the curve y equal to e to the power x over 3 over x as the point 3 and e over 3. So we let u equal to e to the x over 3 and du by dx is equal to 1 over 3 e to the x over 3. v equal to x du dv by dx is equal to 1 and v square equal to x square.
by the cosine rule, we have dy by dx is equal to x, 1 over 3, e to the x over 3, minus e to the x over 3 over x squared. And this is equal to e to the x over 3 multiplied by x minus 3 over 3x squared. So at the point 3 and e over 3, we have dy by dx as the point 3 and e over 3. We substitute 3 into this x here. We got e to the 3 over 3. And 3 minus 3 over 3, 3 squared. This one is 0, so it's over 27, so it's equal to 0. So by the spawn's loop form, y minus this point, e over 3, is equal to the loop m. Loop m is 0 right here, right? Multiplied by x minus 3, so this one is 0. So we got y is equal to e over 3. So this is the equation of the tangent. Question 6. Find the exact values of dy by dx as the point x equal to pi over 9 on the curve with the equation y equal to log x over sine 3x. We let u equal to log x du by dx is equal to 1 over x and v is equal to psi 3x dv by dx is equal to 3 cosine 3x and v squared is equal to psi 3x to the power of 2. So by the cosine rule dy by dx is equal to psi 3x multiplied by 1 over x minus log x multiplied by 3 cosine 3x over sine 3x to the power of 2. And when x equal to pi over 9, y is equal to 2 log pi over 9 over square root 3. This is just for information. And we have dy by dx. If we get the point x equal to pi over 9, we substitute into this equation here. We get size pi over 3 multiplied by 9 over pi minus log pi over 9 multiplied by 3 cosine pi over 3. Divide by psi pi over 3 to the square. So we have psi pi over 3 is square root 3 over 2 multiplied by 9 over pi minus log pi over 9 and multiplied by 3 and cosine pi over 3 is half. So over pi, psi pi over 3 is square root 3 over 2 square. So we got is equal to 9 square root 3 over 2 pi from here minus 3 over 2 to the log pi over 9 over 3 over 4. So we get 4 multiplied by 9 square root 3 over 2 pi minus 3 over 2 log pi over 9 over by 3. And we have 18 square root 3 over pi minus 6 log pi over 9 over by 3. And we take the pi down here, so we got 18 square root 3 minus 6 pi log pi over 9 over 3 pi. And we have 6 square root 3 minus 2 pi log pi over 9 over the pi because we take out the 3 from all the numerator and the denominator. This is the exact values of the dy by dx 
when x equal to pi over 9. Question 7. Given that fx equal to 2x over x plus 5 plus 6x over x squared plus 7x plus 10, when x is greater than 0, we show that the fx is equal to 2x over x plus 2. Since we have x squared plus 7x plus 10 is equal to x plus 2, x plus 5. Therefore, fx is equal to 2x over x plus 5 plus 6x over x plus 2, x plus 5. We take the common factor, so we have 2x multiplied by x plus 2 plus 6x over x plus 2, x plus 5. So we express it out, we got 2x squared plus 4x plus 6x over x plus 2, x plus 5. And we have 2x squared plus 10x over x plus 2, x plus 5. We got 2x times x plus 5 over x plus 2, x plus 5. So we cancel this x plus 5 out because x is greater than 0. So we have 2x over x plus 2. And we proved. Hence, why is the f dash 3? We got we let x equal to 2x, du by dx equal to 2, v equal to x plus 2, and dv by dx is equal to 1, v squared equal to x plus 2 to the power 2. So dy by dx is equal to x plus 2 multiplied by 2, minus 2x multiplied by 1. So we have 4 over x plus 2 to the square. When x is equal to 3, we substitute 3 into the x, we got 4 over 3 plus 2 to the square, and we got 4 over 5 square is equal to 4 over 25. This is the exact values of f dash 3. And question number 8, the diagram shows a sketch of the curve with the equation y equal to fx equal to 2 cosine 2x over e to the power 2 minus x x from 0 to pi. This is the curve. And the curve has a maximum turning point at A and B. This is the A maximum turning point and then the minimum turning point of B. Question A show that the x coordinates of A and B are the solution of the equation tangent 2x equal to half. So first of all, we have to find the dy by dx of this equation. So we let u equal to 2 cosine 2x and du by dx is equal to minus 4 sine 2x. v is equal to e to the power 2 minus x, so dv by dx is equal to minus e to the power 2 minus x. And v square is equal to e to the 4 minus 2x. And then the dy by dx from the quotient rule, we have e to the 2 minus x multiplied by minus 4 psi 2x minus 2 cosi 2x minus e to the 2 minus x over e to the 4 minus 2x. And if we take out the common factors, we got minus 2e to the 2 minus x multiply by 2 psi 2x minus cosine 2x over e 4 minus 2x. And if this is the stationary point of A and B, this one has to be 0. So it's equal to 0. We know that in this part, minus 2e to the 2 minus x shouldn't be 0. It's never be 0, so this one has to be 0. So we have 2 psi 2x minus cosine 2x equal to 0. 
and if we divide by cosine two x, we have two sine two x over cosine two x minus cosine two x over cosine two x is equal to zero. So we have two tangent two x minus one equal to zero, and tangent 2x is equal to half. We prove that when tangent 2x equal to half have to be this two point A or B. Of course A is the maximum point and B is the minimum point. In part B we find the range of the equation. That means we have to find the minimum point of y and the maximum point of y here. So when x is equal pi because x is from 0 to pi, when x is equal pi, y should be maximum. So we substitute x equal to pi into the fx equation. We got y is equal to 2 cosine 2x over e 2 minus x. We substitute pi into here. We got 2 cosine 2 pi over e to the 2 minus pi. And we have, this one is 1, so we have 2 over, we calculate the e to the powers 2 minus pi, we have 0 0.31931006631. And we divide it, use your calculator, you got y is equal to 6.2635. And it's equal to 6.26 to the 3 significant figure. This is the maximum of y. And how about the minimum of y? From the A part, we have tangent 2x equal to half is the minimum and the maximum point. So 2x is equal to pi over 4. And x is from 0 to pi. So 2x is from... 0 to 2 pi. So we have 2x is equal to 0 0.4636476096 or 1.4636476096. And x is equal to pi over 8 or 5 pi over 8. We know that when x is pi over 8 is the local maximum point and x is equal to 5 pi over 8 is the minimum point. So we only have to calculate when x equal to 5 pi over 8. So we put y equal to 2 cosine 2x over e to the 2 minus x and we substitute this one into x we have 2 cosine 5 pi over 4 over e to the power 2 minus 5 pi over 8. And we use the calculation to calculate all the value out. We have minus 1.41421356237 over 1.037179066. And the answer is equal to minus 1.3635. If we, if we get to the three significant figure, we got minus 1.36, three significant figure. So we have two point of y is minimum and maximum. The minimums of y is minus 1.36, and the maximum of y is 6.26. So the range of y, the range of fx is greater than minus 1.36, less than 6.26. This is the range of y of this curve here. It's the minimum point and the maximum point here. Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shaft and see the new video. Thank you.
Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one. 8526592 好多谢大家收听我呢个 video。如果你系希望你个 mathematics 同埋你个英文系更加好嘅话咧，你想要一个 private tutor 啦，你可以随时 contact 我嘅，令到你个 DSC exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因为我都有一啲私人嘅补习喺呢一两方面嘅。多谢大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。